Remove the trolley handle screws. Remove the battery plug covers and disconnect the batteries. After disconnecting all the battery plugs, Discharge the controller by turning on the wheel. Remove the screws of the top cover, and when pulling away the top cover, be aware of the cable right underneath. Unplug the display cable from the display. Disconnect all plugs on the controller. and slide the battery cable through the gap of the side panel, then up through the controller base. Disconnect the three phase cables of the motor, keep in mind their original position, and the four screws of the top controller board. The bottom control board is secured down with 5 screws, 4 on each corner and 1 in the middle. Keep in mind that the center screw for the bottom control board includes a white nylon washer.
Secure the screw with the white nylon washer in the middle of the bottom control board. Then secure the four screws of the bottom control board of each corner. Reinstall the top control board by securing the four screws of each corner. Reconnect all the plugs onto the control board and reinstall the three motor phase cables. Keep in mind the green motor phase cable is located at the bottom closest to the rear tail light and the middle one, blue, is located right in the middle where the yellow is located to the top closest to the headlight. When installing the motor phase cable, make sure the cable is pointed up towards you to ensure a strong connection with its base. After reinstalling the plugs onto the control board, it is wise to reinstall silicone. The top left battery positive cable goes to the top right, and the top right black cable negative goes towards the top left. For the bottom of the controller, the battery positive goes directly into the bottom left, and the negative cable on the bottom right of the controller goes to the gap on the bottom right. After feeding the battery cables through the gap, slide it through the gap of the side panel.
reconnect the battery cables and ensure that it's neatly kept in the socket of the side panel. Reinstall silicone where needed. Repaste the silicone where necessary, especially for the four battery cables. Ensure that the silicone not only goes around through the cable and the washers, but also a little bit towards the controller base to make sure it's kept intact. Reconnect the display cable and turn on the wheel to make sure everything functions as normal. If everything does, repaste the display cable plug and reinstall the top cover. Finally, install the battery cable side covers as well as the two trolley handle screws.